Okay. And uh, what are the future plans of Exomer, of the band? For right now, we're going to do our European Ignition Tour. When we wrap up with everything, we're going to go back home and um, complete writing the new album. And in the summer, we're going to write the new album. We're going to try to have it finished by um, the fall. We're going to come back here to Europe for a couple more shows. And, um, and then we're going to release the album probably in the fall, late fall, early spring, something like that. I don't know the schedule. 100%, but it's going to be finished recording by, um, I would say, October at the latest. And uh, how you've made the reunion, and who gave the idea of that reunion? Um, when we played the Bakken Festival in uh, 2001, we had a lot of positive um, fan mail coming up, in, and I was receiving a lot of emails over the years, and um, one... Um, one Halloween, um, Paul, the old guitar player, I mean bass player and, and singer, um, came and stayed with me uh, in New York. We were talking and everything, and I was doing my project in New York called Sun Descends. And I was kind of like thinking about all the positive mail that we were getting over the years, and a lot of people were asking us. So when Paul was there, he was like, we were talking about it, and when he left, I was really sad. And I was like, you know what? How great would it be if Paul, Ray, and I... I mean, Ray and I started the band in 1985, but we knew Paul for a long time. Even, he was our friend even before the first album. So I was like, you know what? How about we start the band again? So I called up Ray and I was like, look, let's do this, because I don't do anything without Ray. Like, he is the musical backbone of this band. Ray and I worked in many projects together but so he said okay let's do it and that's how it came together and you have a brand new song how you made it the song the waking song. the fire yeah yes. um, it was in the spirit of the of us coming back together it's not like a reunion project uh, waking the fire is really about like you know we're back it's not we're not reunion like oh and then we go away so um, the way it happened was um, uh, Paul and Ray worked on the riffs, Paul in Hawaii and, and Ray in Germany. I wrote the lyrics and then I flew to Hawaii and I tracked the vocals and then we mixed it all together. And then um, we took it to a studio in Germany, mixed it, um, did all the editing and that's how it came together. And where do you find the inspiration of your music and for the lyrics? Um, I get a, I mean the music is, is definitely influenced by old school thrash metal but also what we have in mind like it's nine it's not 1985 mm -hmm. so our music cannot sound like 1985 but we want to have the spirit the soul of it right because that's who we are um, so the music draws from inspiration from old school thrash like old exodus old venom old anything but then at the same time you know, we listen to like a band like Overkill, for instance, that came with a new record. It has a soul, but it has a sound. So we, you know, we, we definitely veer towards that. And I write lyrics about things that I draw from everyday life, um, but also like things that interest me or like, um, you know, things. Uh, we we wrote two songs for the demo, and the song Devil Chaser is um, about, uh, it's lyrically it talks about um, the things that happened in, in, a, in a part of Africa where there was a lot of massacres, uh, uh, similar to the Rwandan thing. So I draw from politics, from all kinds of stuff. Really. And who invented the name Exumer? My dad. Yeah. My dad actually came up with it. And then we thought, well, maybe we take the H out and make it our own. <laughs> and But he, when we were kids, we were looking for a band name. And my parents supported us a lot. And my dad was like, you know what? How about this? And we're like, yeah, how about it? And why the band split in the 1990s? Well, we kind of split earlier, actually. Yeah. Um, well, 80, 89, 1990, yeah. Uh, it was... 
done. I mean, first I left the band, then Paul left the band, then they had another singer, they kind of veered off, Ray did something in a different kind of direction, and it was just, just all not working out anymore, and music changed so much, you know? And we all needed to work on our own stuff, really, you know? And where was the biggest Exumer concert in your career? You mean in terms of people? Yes. Maybe attendance-wise, I would say Bakken, 2001. I think there were like over 30,000 people at that show. Mm -hmm. And how, how do you create it, uh, Possessed by Fire and the Raising from the Sea, the 12? Well, Possessed by Fire was written when we first started writing music. So Possessed by Fire, actually, all the songs that are on Possessed by Fire were like our initial inspirations and, I mean, Ray and I started writing just the two of us. We didn't have a drummer, we didn't have, it was just me playing bass and him playing guitar in my dad's garage. Mm -hmm. That's how we started. And then, um, th so the songs on Possessed by Fire are like a gradual progression. As we learned how to play, the songs got better. And, and then Rising from the Sea basically was a follow-up, but it happened in a much quicker time frame. And what happened then was some songs got rushed and some songs got um, written in the studio while recording. So the, the major differences of those two albums are that, that, that we recorded Possessed by Fire and wrote Possessed by Fire in a time frame of a year and a half maybe, whereas um, Rising from the Sea was maybe six months or eight months. You know. And uh, what did you do from uh, 1990 till the reunion? Uh, we did a lot of stuff. Um, when, I, when I left uh, Exuber for the first time, went to America for the first time, and then I came back to Germany and I um, founded uh, Phobic Instinct, which is like a hardcore crossover thing, which was heavily influenced by my time in New York at the time, which was like 87, 88. And, um, and then we, we kind of wandered off and um, Ray, Bernie, and myself we did like a, a, a hip-hop, rap, metal type of thing uh, called Humongous Fungus in the 90s, which was something that we needed to do too because, you know, as a musician you go, you transition from all kinds of feelings and emotions and you kind of try to figure out where you are in life. And that was happening at the time. You know, um, and we we loved it. You know, we did. What, we were very successful for what we were doing. And um, then I moved to New York for the second time, and I started Sun Descends, which is like an old school thrash metal project, which was not geared to any commercial success. It was more for my pleasure. And Ray and Bernie did um, did a, a, a rock band called September. While Paul was in Hawaii, he was doing, uh, um, in Los Angeles, he was doing 999 Society with Gene Hoagland on drums. So everybody was very active and, um, you know. And so how would you describe an, an Exumer show, your band? Very aggressive, mm -hmm. very aggressive, very high octane, lots of power, mm -hmm. very in your face, very up front. Um, no, it's it's very, in that moment, it's just the fans and us. So in that moment, you know, it's full on, full aggression. And the tomorrow songs will be? Oh, I can't tell you that. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that's the place you can tell something special to the readers of our forum Metal Hangar 18 and to your fans in Bulgaria, your motto or something else. Like, like you want... Something we're very, first. very proud to be here, and um, it's our first time. We're very excited. Mm -hmm. um, we feel very fortunate that you you welcome us, but it's also like we're here to like kick ass. Okay. You know, like we really want to we want to bring the full on Exumer show, like full on, no old bar, like nothing, just full on. Thank you very much. Yeah, man, you're welcome. Thank you. Metal.